Video 7, Phase of Play. This video will demonstrate how a coach can set up a phase of play. The planning of the phase of play begins with an 11v11 game. Orange will defend as 4-4-2, while green will attack as 4-3-3 diamond formation. The coach will take out players that are no longer relevant or provide some players with a dual role. In this case, center backs for the green team and the striker for the orange team will be represented by the central red neutral player. The full backs for the green team and the wingers for the orange team will be represented by the players in silver. The green goalkeeper will be removed as they are not directly relevant to this exercise. Okay, yeah, Orange, show me where you'd be if the ball was there. Let's step up. Great, okay, play live. Here we go. Live, play a green. The purpose of phase of play is to allow coaches to increase the number of repetitions of their topics with the players who are essential to the successful application of the topic. Good, nothing through, nothing through, well done. The field size for this session will be full width and length of the field, but it will be varied in part. The coach will likely only use two thirds of the length of the field or half a field depending on the topic they are working on. Well done, okay everybody walk. We'll get back to a starting point. Okay, so excellent just to get a flow. Okay, nothing major there. So with you, I like how you cut in, but I want you to play more penetrative, so okay? I can play wide too. You can play wide, yeah, for sure. See if you can split these guys, really make an exerted effort to make, to make these guys have them make a decision, overload them, use the combo. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, start, keep our, our center back. Can you start behind the line to give them a realistic picture? Right, yes. So Orange, make sure you're with your line to begin with and then shift as a unit. Play. Well done. 